Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noding. Um, today in this episode, it's going to be something special. Uh, we already have animation nodes version 2.1 on Blender 2.8. Uh, previously, it didn't work because um, there's a little line of codes that need to be added in order for you to install it on a Mac. So 2.1.3 actually. So this is really quite new and still untested. So I will be testing it out. Um, so it's going to be interesting. This is Blender 2.8 beta. And thanks to, for Omar for providing these fixes. Basically, you add this line of code into this matrix shade GLSL and yeah basically just change these lines into this guy and then save it and then reopen and animation nodes 2.1 should work all right cool let's uh let's give it a try save as demo p28 an 2.1 so everything still untested so let's see how this perform and let's switch to, so we have spread chalk nodes, we have animation nodes. That's really cool, right? Now we have like our own like layout editor here. Create a new editor. And just like before, we have all these, the usual animation nodes menu. So we have all the usual um, nodes as well. So what's have changed? Maybe nothing much. There's actually this a particle system. I haven't tried it. Uh, there's a lot to try, but uh, let's do the noise again, maybe. Um, just do the object instancing, that's the easiest normally, and let's try random vector. Random vector, and we're gonna use uh, like a multiple vectors, so vectorize. So let's make a count like 20 random objects. Let's make a, should we use Suzanne or just like a donut? Okay, let's use donuts and make it smaller. Get our donut. So our torus, we will be instance. So it's automatically created, get length as usual. And then object transform, object transform output, objects, plug it in, position, plug this in. So we have this. You might notice that this thing is really, really fast. Okay. It's unbelievably fast. So this is the master. Uh, uh, let's, let me push, put it somewhere else. So I'm using the left click at the moment. So I'm still getting used to this. If I put in like a thousand, so that's see, it's really still pretty fast, but uh, I'm not going to go that, that far for now. Just going to give it a try. So this is random random vector right 100 random vector we can randomize the seed all the usual stuff if you you have this randomness or uh, you want to random it randomize it further you use uh, offset offset vectors in this case we, we are not using offset matrices but yep offset vector should work you might notice also there's a offset i think that's a feature of Animation nodes 2.1, offset polygons and offset vertices. That should come in handy at some point. So offset, okay. We can do the usual offset. Uh, are we, so we are doing the location. You can also try the scaling. Maybe I should do that. Um, so scale offset, let me, let me think. Offset vector. Okay, if I just do this and we plug this in. So the offset. Mm, let me unplug this. So if, if I have scale here, I can change the scaling of this guy. If I want, if I plug this in and then make everything zero. Okay, so that's uh, doing nothing. Maybe I need some kind of random vector there also. If I plug this in there, into the vector. Okay, we have all this random vector. It doesn't look pretty. Uh, maybe delay, fall off. Uh, 
Okay, maybe that's a bug. Maybe that's a bug. Don't worry about that for now. Let's play around with the, this fall off. And we we remember the noise. We have noise fall off. Plug this in there. And this is randomized offset. So that's the noise. Randomizing it. Let's try. Um, so we have random here. If we have another random with different noise seed, plug in here. Oh, okay. We, I'm pretty sure we should be able to plug this in. Maybe it's uh, not working correctly. Ah, see, it works. Little bug. But basically with the fall off, it should kind of transition between the two scaling. Fall off. So that's a kind of like animation A and animation B. With this fall off will be the another influencer on top of it. So this one is a random noise. And yeah, you just need to animate the offset. And that's what you get. <laughs> kind of interesting. It looks like a... There's a toy that looks like this. When I was little, uh, it, they are all inside like a like a water. We can also randomize the rotation. I think rotation, however, needs a random Euler. Random Euler. We want multiple random. Get the length. Plug this into Euler. Slightly more natural, right? Um, yeah. We maybe we can do that as well, and then oh, it doesn't work. Uh, maybe get rid of scaling for now. But I think, yeah, that's that's all pretty cool, right? And of course, they are all instance object, and this is Blender 2.8. This is live, right? You can play around with the matcap and stuff, random color. See, this is like super cool and I really like the instancing of animation nodes it's really really powerful like I said it's really really fast as well so that's something to keep in mind it's pretty amazing what you can do with this guy even you go like 5000 or 10,000 this is still pretty fast oh it might crash on my Mac but maybe not but 10,000 instance should, shouldn't be a problem I guess um, yeah but I think it's in my on my computer is I need a proper GPU on Mac I think anyhow I think that's a that's a good quick look for uh, animation nodes on blender 2.8 there are really plenty of things you can do with this guy uh, okay if you're if you're getting the add-on that if it's not working, you need to turn it on and, and save the preference. And then I'll save it as another blend, just in case. So this guy now, if we just add a vector input, or actually combine vector and frame, this should work if we run the playback. Hey. Oh, okay. Okay, there you go. Just add a math, float math. It's too fast. It's running. Animation nodes always try to run it as fast as it can. I was still thinking, maybe it's crashing. Uh, simplex, seed, maybe use a different one, cubic, cellular, or perlin. Yeah, probably good little pearly noise. So it's doing this kind of motion. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. It's almost like there's like a pressure pushing this guy. Um, get rid of the overlay. And if you want to add cavity, maybe shadow, all the fancy stuff that Blender 2.8 renderer offering. 
but now you have see like you have animation nodes on Blender 2.8 and you can do a lot of really really fancy stuff with animations so it's really really powerful I haven't tried it with with lighting and all all the fancy stuff but this is a uh, like super powerful um, so yeah I'll maybe have a think of an ideas that we can do on Blender 2.8 that we didn't have before maybe even playing around with grease pencil or things like that all the instance objects here Oh, it's not inside the animation nodes container yet so there's a lot of work of course but I think the animation nodes developers and also Blender developers have done a really good job this year and then the previous year is like they've done a lot and so yeah I think our support will help them all right so yeah thanks again for watching hopefully this is useful let me know what you think and I'll see you next time thank you bye